Hey everybody, it's One Cast One Fish, and today I'm showing you how to identify bait fish using your Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. Now we all know one of the best ways to catch more game fish is to locate and identify their food source. In many cases, one of those major food sources is going to end up being a member of the shad family. Now depending on where you're located and the type of waters you fish, it's going to have an impact on what kind of shad are found in those local bodies of water. When I talk about bait fish, I'm primarily going to be talking about gizzard shad and threadfin shad. And that's because those are going to be the most abundant in the majority of reservoirs, lakes, rivers, and impoundments throughout the country. Now in many cases, these bait fish are going to be naturally occurring and self-sustaining in these fisheries. However, in some cases, bait fish may actually be stocked into a fishery to help maintain a strong forage base. Now we're going to move over to the Garmin Striker 4 and we're going to look at a few screenshots. We're going to dissect and interpret those screenshots from the sonar to hopefully help you be able to better identify bait fish on your Garmin Striker 4 fish finder. Now to help us interpret our sonar returns and know what kind of bait fish we're dealing with, we're going to learn a little bit real quick about the gizzard shad and the threadfin shad give us a little bit of background to help us identify them better later. Gizzard shad, though commonly 6 to 10 inches in length, can grow up to 16 inches. When young, gizzard shad like to be in tight schools, which helps protect them while they're young. As gizzard shad grow into adulthood, the schools will start to loosen and they'll form small clusters. Gizzard shad are found in lakes, reservoirs, rivers, and impoundments, some naturally and some introduced artificially to via forage fish for other predator species. Gizzard shad prefer muddy, soft bottoms with little to no vegetation. They also prefer the water to be a bit turbid, meaning low visibility. The smaller threadfin shad grows to about four to six inches in length. Threadfin shad are a tight schooling bait fish and most associated with bait balls that you see on your sonar screen. Threadfin shad are found in lakes, reservoirs, rivers, and impoundments, many times occurring naturally and self-sustaining, but sometimes introduced as a forage fish for other predator species. Threadfin shad are often found in clear, open water in the mid to upper levels of the water column. Our first sonar image is going to come from an upper creek arm off a large lake. Now we're going to look at our sonar screen and try to interpret the image that we see. Seeing how we're in the upper end of a creek of a large lake, the water is somewhat muddy and turbid. We can also see that the bottom is rather soft and there is no vegetation present. The fish we see here in this image appear to be in a loose school or a cluster. Also judging by the strength and size of these returns, we can tell that this isn't an overly large fish but it's also not a very small fish, so probably something in the 8 to 12 inch range. Through interpreting our surroundings and what we see on the sonar screen, we can make a pretty educated guess that this is most likely gizzard shad in this sonar image. And if we throw out our cast net, you'll see we're correct that these indeed were gizzard shad on this sonar image. Our next images are going to take us out to the main lake, specifically around a channel that goes under a bridge. Since this area is located on the main lake, the water has good clarity and high visibility. If you look closely, you'll see this image shows our bait fish in a close, tight-knit group. Also looking closely at the image, we'll notice that since no individual fish really stand out on the sonar, that we can assume that these are probably very small fish, probably something in the 4 to 6 inch range. Through interpreting our surroundings and what we see on the sonar screen, we can make a pretty educated guess as to what we see here, our threadfin shad. Now I'm going to walk you through a few screenshots and we're going to interpret what we see on the sonar image. In this next image I want to first point out the structure that we see here along the bottom. If you look closely you'll be able to see that it appears that there's some fish that are hanging around that structure. And here you'll see there's a bait ball which probably consists of threadfin shad holding the upper to middle part of the water column. Here again we'll notice the fish along with some very small bait balls that these fish are probably keying on. Now this next image is pretty interesting because it shows some sort of a large structure on the bottom along with some predatory fish but also you'll see that there's bait fish keying to this structure as well. For this next screenshot I'm going to give you a few moments to take and analyze the image and the background information 
and see if you can take and figure out and interpret what's on the sonar screen. If you were able to identify the structure, fish, and the bait fish in this image, then you're on the right track. I really hope you found this video useful. I hope you were able to use this tutorial to help you better understand and identify bait fish when they show up on your Garmin Striker 4 fish finder, which in turn should help you put more fish in the boat. So, if you would, if you have not already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Like, comment, and share, and feel free to ask any questions down below, and we'll see you next time on the water.